Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, this bracelet that I'm wearing on my wrist which um, I call um, an, it, the, the Inca bracelet because it originates from Peru um, so it looks like this, twisty yeah it's really pretty um, so for this you're going to need a uh, string for, well you can use string in it um, for this part of it to go through the middle of the bracelet or you can just forget about the string and um, just like do it with embroidery floss like these. So embroidery floss you've got what you're going to need for the wrappy bit. So yeah you're going to need three different colours or you can have more, I'm just doing three for this video and you're going to need to cut two lengths of each colour and then fold them in half so you've got four strands of each colour for this so I've got mine here and I've cut them far too long but anyway so yeah you're going to want a reasonable length because you're wrapping it round so it uses it up but yeah probably about an arm's width for each one then fold them over so once you've got all them and you've folded them over. What you do is you gather them all together so you've got like this bit at the top and then take your string if you're using that in the middle and put them through each other, through themselves like this. You can see how much thread I've got and it's far too much, such a waste but anyway and then you want to put that, pull that really really tight, like as tight as you can get it, and clip it if you have to and pull it like I am okay so that's should, should be tight enough like that so now onto the more well not complicated but anyway this pa this bracelet's really easy just so you know so even if you're like a beginner this you'll find this easy to do. Then take um, one like section of all three, one of each of your colours, sorry, I'm trying to think how to best describe it. So I've got, I've got pink, purple and brown, so take a strand of each of them and put them out to the side and then take all the rest and put them down the middle. You don't need um, you don't have to have like four, um, two lengths of each, so four strands of each. I just do it to make the bracelet um, thicker, so you can have like one strand of each. But anyway, on with the pattern. So leave them out and like put them over the top. Then take another sort of one of each your strands and put the rest down the middle. Sort them into like an order that you want them to wrap round in. So I'm doing purple, brown, then pink, and then gather them in the middle, and zoom in a bit so you can see this a bit better. Oops, sorry. And begin wrapping them round all the colours in the middle. Mine's going to be a bit messy at the top because I'm leaning around the tripod. Okay, so yeah, you're just wrapping them round, not doing any knots or anything. That's a good thing about this bracelet, it doesn't use any knots at all. So slowly wrap them round so you get, you can see each of the individual colours of the bracelet. Sorry, I'm moving about, oh my goodness. I don't know whether you can see this very well. We over the top. And but it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory what you have to do and even from looking at the bracelet right so you, as you can see I'll just zoom in you can see oh my oh dear tripod's falling I've got a dodgy setup sorry so you can see that's what how you should be sort of wrapped it like that so I'm going to stop the camera in a minute and finish wrapping down to the bottom so finish 
wrapping this round like this to however long you want the bracelet and then I should come back to you in a second and show you what you need to do next okay okay so I've finished wrapping for the length of my bracelet that I want it to be and one thing I forgot to mention when you're wrapping it round the main sort of body of your bracelet make sure you do it nice and tight and don't leave gaps because otherwise it will make it look a bit messy and not very good so this is a little more of a juggling act here now because you've got to hold on to the bottom bit where you've just wrapped and do something else at the same time so um, you can like clip it with something, a hair clip or something just so it stays where it's supposed to be and then the bits of string three bits of string you've left out which hopefully you will have done otherwise you're going to have to unravel it and take three bits out like this but anyway hopefully you've done that you're going to take them and you're going to oh, I'm sorry just move it nearer wrap them round but in a loose, looser, well not looser but further away from each wrap around so a bigger gap in between like this, I'll just zoom in so you can see what I mean ok so you're leaving bigger gaps in between each wrap and you just do that again for the length of the bracelet so try and make sure they're like similar size gaps and um, but still I guess quite tight to the bracelet ok so like that so again I'm going to pause it the camera and come back to you when I've done the length of my bracelet like that ok ok so as you can see I've finished wrapping the outer sort of wrap to the end of my bracelet here so I'm just holding it tight so it doesn't unravel itself now the next bit you're going to do I'm just going to move the clipboard up so you can see um, you've got all these strands and you need to secure them so you can finish the bracelet off so I'm going to take uh, a brown one oh, sorry not that one nice long one this one oh look at it all oh, knotted up right and put the rest down sort of in the middle what you're going to do with this brown one is you're going to wrap it round all of them nice and really tightly now like really really tight um, this is just going to be able to finish off your bracelet nicely I mean you can do it differently this is just how I do it so you get a, quite a neat professional sort of look ok so anyway wrapping it round doesn't have to be too many times sorry. too many times just enough so that it's nice and tight nice and tight and neat and then you just sort of do like a, a loop knot um, zoom in so you can see okay so you're doing loop knot I think my camera's gone really fuzzy sorry and pull that nice and tight and then do I should have secured it more or less then do another couple of them just to make sure that's nice and tight you can do like Chinese staircase knots all the way down for the, instead of just wrapping it to make it super secure so as you can see I'm pulling it super tight and then just tie a normal knot just in the end just to sort of give it a little bit of extra um, protection protection um, grip so you can see that's what it looks like oh dear okay anyway sorry my tripod again and then just snip off that excess and you're going to take all of the other strings you want to see how much wastage I've got here oh my goodness I have to make another bracelet with it. Well, like miles. Okay, but anyway, sorry. And then you'll just cut off them near to the sort of where the wrap is. So. And then we leave them out of the way. So your bracelet is almost 
done. Now, as you can see on mine, I do my um, little pulley tie around the end. So, if you don't know how to do the pulley, head over to my channel and you'll find the pulley tie video. Watch that and then do that on with the string, like so. Okay, so now all you need to do is cut the excess of another bit of string and you've got a super duper Peru style bracelet. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, found it easy enough to follow. Um, please watch my other videos, please rate and comment and subscribe. Bye!